Hey guys, Mackenzie here with the House of IBE, and I'm going to give you a tutorial today on how to wear a high pony even while wearing three rows of 24 inch extensions. So the main question that I always get asked is how do I keep my ponytail from falling down when I have all of this hair? Now, again, I'm wearing three rows of 24, so yes, there's a lot of hair. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, the first thing you do is you're actually gonna do what I call a double pony. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to split my rows and I am going to pony my top two rows. And I'm gonna leave my third row down. Again, you can do this if you wear two rows, you would just split in between one and two. Doesn't have to be a perfect parting, but you are just going to be making sure that you have everything from your weft up here. Now one trick that I like to do when I am doing a ponytail is using a smoothing brush. This is like an all-purpose smoothing brush. I got it at Target. Okay, it's Conair, you can get one at Target, Sally Beauty, whatever. But if you could reach through and feel these bristles, they're very, very soft. So if you see me brushing over my wefts, don't have a panic attack. This is perfect for that smoothing kind of action. I'm not gonna do any damage to my rows this way. So now that I have those up, again, you can see I have my two rows up. I'm just going to create a ponytail now. And fasten this up. Now what I'm gonna do, well, I'm gonna show you a little trick first to cover your wefts because some of you may go, well, how am I going to put my ponytail up when I have no hair under here to cover it? You're gonna use this teasing brush. This is a Cricut amped up, okay? So I like to just do this on my sides because this is where I feel like splitting often happens. Okay, so I have my bottom row left out. Now, if you have tons of hair left under here and you're not concerned, then you can fast forward to this part. But if you're like me and you're rocking some sideburns, then you're gonna wanna know how to cover this bottom row. You're gonna use your Cricut Amped Up brush. I just have to point out, isn't that awesome? No beads, you guys, this is IBE. Okay, let's back to your scheduled programming. You're gonna take a slice, a horizontal slice that goes underneath your row. Doesn't have to be a lot. If you don't have a lot of hair, it's okay. You can even just do this. I like to do this like right as I go over my ear and back home. Just take the bottom few inches and you're gonna create a pad. Now what this does is it makes sure that your hair doesn't split. So even at the end of the day, you still have kind of created this. Can you see that? What you could see through before, you now can't see through. And that's because I just took like a half an inch and did that. So I'm gonna do that on both sides before I bring everything up. Too much hair. Okay, so now that you've done that, you're gonna collect everything. Now, I like to flip my head over for this one. So, hold please. I'm back. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm going to do is just put this all up together. This double pony is going to secure that your hair is not going anywhere. So then what I like to do is that you can see I have these little wings. <laughs> you're gonna take those and you're gonna wrap around your elastic. Okay. 
Then you're going to take a little bobby pin and you're just going to secure that. You're going to secure that section that you wrapped. And voila, not only is your pony going to stay all day long, but it also has extra volume because of the way you did it.